Yeah, hi friends. Uh, this is Ravi Kiran. Today I'm going to show you how to install Active Directory services on 2008 server. So let's start. So I have a 2008 server. So minimum configuration. So I'm going to show you how to uh, install uh, roles on 2008 server. So let's start. So right now, uh, 2008 and it is in work group and I have assigned IP address and the remote uh, desktop enable and uh, server management remote also enable so you can verify here so there is no roles are installed here so nothing is installed nothing is configured this is a fresh installation 2008 so there is no components are installed anything configured so this is the default windows 2008 server so right now we are going to configure active directory services okay go to add roles next so here uh, we have uh, 2008 uh, roles so if you want to configure any of the role you need to select here so right now i'm going to select active directory domain services so first we'll configure domain services let's we'll go for another configure uh, to configure the services okay let's select this one and click next and next so active directory uh, domain services so dotnet framework 3.5 dot one feature is required okay click install the installation is progress and another one uh, if you like this video uh, click sh uh, like and share and subscribe and uh, if you want to get more alerts uh, upcoming videos click on bell icon so that you'll get alerted and i'm going to configure on all the services on 2008 same thing i need to uh, i will be upgrading uh, 2008 to 2012 and uh, 2016 and 19 and upcoming videos let's wait okay now installation succeeded dot net also succeeded click close so now roles role is installed okay and uh, future also is installed so let's go to command prompt and click here you can type dc promo and press enter so now active directory services are starting so you can see here welcome to active directory domain services installation wizard you can click next it is uh, giving uh, operating system compatibility so we are a 2008 so we can go for an additional next uh, feature and suppose you're going to create a new uh, domain in the forest you need to select this one if you have already domain in your existing you can select here so first i will show you this your new forest so new domain i'm going to create click next so i'm going to give a name so kirandomain.com and let's see kirandomain.com click next so checking whether the new forest name is already in use or not it will verify verify the net bias name also once it is verification done it will alert you so this is the uh, forest functional level so suppose uh, in your uh, environment if you have uh, 2003 servers you can add uh, to the existing domain controller so if you want to go to uh, uh, 2008 or 2 so 2008 or 2 only before uh, 2008 operating system you cannot add into the domain controllers it means you cannot uh, promote to dc on your existing so this is the forest functional levels so right now we are giving only 2003 default so click next and domain functional level also 2003 next okay by default uh, when you're uh, configuring domain controller default uh, dns server will be uh, here tick mark so if you want to install you can install if 
we required a DNS server so we are not unchecking so global catalog is uh, default so it is on all the domain control global catalog will be there so we cannot remove this one option and the read only uh, domain controller so this is the first domain so we cannot ha have option is enabled so if you are going to configure uh, uh, additional domain control it will be highlighted now it is not highlighted click next and uh, delegation next and uh, location for database and log files and sys uh, this is the active directory database location see windows ntds is a location folder in ntds folder you will have a ntds dot int is the database file all the users systems workstations and printers network resources all the information stored in the database folder database file okay and log file if you have any done any modifications anything that file will be updated all the active directory related information and uh, going to sysfol folder sysfol folder is uh, uh, this is a folder uh, will have all the uh, registry and uh, multiple uh, domain controllers and uh, workstations or uh, synchronization information and group policies will be stored in sysfol folder okay click next and if you want to give the uh, restore password you can give i'm going to give one password if any active directory is uh, corrupted or anything you can go for uh, restore mode uh, with the help of f8 and you can uh, give the password and you can restore the active directory so whatever selections has been done so all the information is here so current domain and uh, 2003 is a functional level forest level and domain level and the site is default site name and the read only is no global catalog yes dns is yes and uh, database locations and all the information done click next so it's starting so we'll select here reboot on completion so it is configuring all the domain services on your machine and uh, dns also so it will configure all uh, like you you can find group policy management also right now there is no see all the yeah before that we have not seen uh, group all management uh, sites and users modules these are the active directory uh, shortcuts has been updated and uh, let's see now group policy management console is going to be installed yeah group policy me policy management like that all the dns also added let's wait yeah installing active directory services in configuring local computer to the host active directory domain services so this machine will be on uh, right now it is in work group so this machine will be added to domain and the domain services will be configured so all the configuration has been uh, will be updated and the schema will be updated so so it is created directory partition so configure lsa policy information dns so all the registry settings will be done this is the primary domain control in the network if you want to verify i'll show you how to verify the domain control in the network okay let's okay the installation is done and uh, server is going to restart shutting down let's wait yeah the machine is restarted it's put it's booting now okay microsoft corporation let's wait it will take just a few seconds so i'm using a uh, vmware workstation so i have installed multiple servers so i'll start one by one uh, servers so do not panic uh, please watch till end so that you will get some clarity on 
all the roles so if you like this video just click on uh, like share and subscribe and uh, click on bell icon so that uh, the next video will be alerted to you okay now applying computer settings I'll show you how uh, how to verify domain controller uh, features so which which one is the domain controller primary domain controller so we can verify that all the settings uh, uh, let's board this one I have given a 2 GB uh, minimum memory so it's taking time so we need to give sufficient uh, minimum is 2 gb but if you can give a uh, 4 gb or 6 gb uh, well so that it will come uh, it will boot very fast hi guys uh, so well, now we are going to enter into the so now it's showing Kiran domain I'm entering with a look administrator password okay preparing your desktop so I'm using trial version okay if I click start button administrator tools you can see active directory administrator to center uh, domain and trust and active directory module for powershell also install sites and services users and computers adsi edit you can update the schema and the dns and group policy management so these components has been installed while promoting to dc okay now i am going to configure uh, dns so before that okay we'll go to active directory users if you expand see here you can see kirandomain.com so built-in folders we are able to see so these are the default uh, groups security groups you can see security groups in the domain controller and the computers there is no nothing and domain controller we can have only one and uh, you can see the default first site name so GC DC type and uh, foreign principal pr uh, security principles management services users so these are the default uh, security groups you can find here and the uh, schema admin enterprise admin domain admin DNS admin these are the main so this is the local administrator for this domain controller okay you can see the description also so if you want to uh, give full access on DNS you need to add in DNS administrator group uh, if you give a uh, designated administrator of the domain means if any of the user in domain admin so he can have full rights on Active Directory and if he want to uh, update a schema so you need to add into this security group like that enterprise administrator so uh, a designated administrator of the enterprise enterprise means if we have multiple domain controllers tail domain controls everything if we add into this enterprise domain so this person can be uh, have a full rights on all the active directory domain. so let's okay I'll show you DNS so now active directory D DNS okay yeah in DNS uh, see the server name is win 2008 and we have forward lookup zones and we have reverse so forward lookup zone the default zone is configured so win 2008 is a, a record is created it's static and you can see the and uh, the parent uh, name server name is uh, win 2008 uh, dot .com. this is a DNS server name so this is the default so you can see all the sites everything will be default uh, configured uh, see uh, if you go to the default site gc kerberos ldap 
held up is uh, this one win 2008.kerandomain.com kerberos address is this one gc is this one so these are the default uh, when you install active directory all the information will be updated here so like this and uh, uh, let's go to reverse lookup zone so there is a uh, uh, the reverse lookup zone is there but uh, there is no not having any zone you want to create click zone new zone and primary secondary step zone so i'll show you on next video uh, just i'm clear creating primary zone and default ip4 we are using so next so our ip segment is 192.168.2 click next finish finish so our reverse lookup zone is there so if you have multiple networks so multiple network zones can be created so we can have here and uh, default all the uh, uh, fully qualified domain names will be uh, added here if you want to verify this is the fully qualified domain name so i am clicking this one to update ptr so if i go to reverse lookup zone if i refresh so i'm getting this one see ptr is updated now like that if you add any uh, any workstations or any servers to the uh, kiran domain.com the a record will be created automatically it is active direct integrated zone dns zone so it will update it okay on dns i will show you another uh, video thanks for watching if you like this video click uh, like share and subscribe and uh, please share to your friends so that uh, everyone will aware uh, how to configure do, uh, active directory in 2008 so my next video i'll going to show you uh, different uh, roles thanks for watching have a nice day